Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. In yesterday's video, I talked about the four foundation tools you need to start making money online. And in case you missed it, uh, you can watch yesterday's video. Uh, I'll link to it below so you can go watch it. And anyway, uh, today I want to talk to you about the fifth foundation tool. And actually, I kind of forgot about that one because, well, most people tend to forget about this one until it actually needed the most. And, and that is your backup and disaster recovery plan. Yeah. And unfortunately, the reason I forgot about it is the same reason everyone else forgets about it. They don't think about disaster or how to recover from disaster until they actually face disaster. Like uh, your email list, what's your backup? Your blog, what if something happens to your blog? What if something happens to your email list? And they get wiped out. And if you don't, ha if you don't have those things backed up or a plan to recover, then you are in, well, it could affect your entire business. It could put you out of business, right? Now, some people would say, well, like, I'm a YouTuber, right? Uh, YouTube already has multiple backups and stuff. I don't need to back up my YouTube videos or, or, or whatnot. And possible, possible. I mean, the, obviously the, the odds of my YouTube channel, YouTube losing my, my videos on my channel, it's pretty much near, near zero. But what if for, for you know, whatever reason that YouTube decides that uh, I'm not living up to the YouTube terms of service. And as a result, they ban my account. Now I can access my channel and those videos are gone and I, I don't have a backup. Hmm? Same thing with your email list. Uh, yes, internally, these companies have their own backup system. Like uh, with HostGator for the host of my blog, they have backups as well. So they already back up my, you know, your stuff on your server every single day. But again, that's just the stuff that's back up. What if something happens, like say you violated the terms of service, like, and this happened to, uh, I guess uh, this, that's a good story about it. But uh, a fellow internet marketer, very successful internet marketer, uh, he had something like this, something like this happened to him. What happened was uh, Aweber, which was uh, his email service provider. So he set up a, he set up a sales funnel. Uh, that funnel built the list for Aweber and using Aweber, using the back end to sell stuff through the funnel. And it was making, doing really, really well, like making 50 grand a month, right? And then, but what happened was uh, Aweber then just nuked this account because of, well, whatever reason was. In some internal reasons, they said spam complaints. I mean, he says it's BS, but anyway, Aweber says spam complaints, so they they cut up his account, and he just finally one day logged in. He couldn't access to his account. It says the account's gone. He calls him up, and they say, yeah, you've been, uh, yeah, your, your account was flagged for spam activities, et cetera, whatever kind of excuse to give him, and your account has been nuked. Now, he, he didn't download the list. He didn't download the list, so now the list is gone, and basically, he's now starting all over again, right? So, don't let that happen to you. Like, uh, you should have some kind of plan to have everything back up somewhere else, off site, somewhere else, another location. Now, I use three main services for my backup plan. First of all, my blog is backed up by a service called VaultPress. VaultPress is owned by the creators of WordPress. And VaultPress creates automatic backup of your blog every hour on the hour in real time, actually. It's yeah, back up in real time. When someone makes a comment on my blog, it's instantly back up. And every hour, it makes a, a complete backup of the whole site. So something happens on my something happens on my blog, I can make a backup from the last hour, the hour before that, the hour before that. In case like, say malware attack, and malware attack two hours ago, I can go back three hours ago and make a, a get a clean copy and restore that way. That's how I backup my blog. Uh, the other backup, the other service I use is uh, Dropbox. Dropbox is uh, dropbox.com. Yeah, basically, it's, uh, it's an online storage facility uh, where you can store all your files and stuff. So uh, I back, I download my email list to Vault Pre uh, to Dropbox. I uh, sub files that I need access to that I want to back up. I put, them in, I put them in Dropbox so I have access to it on all my computers, uh, all my devices, my iPhone, whatever. And 
that, that that's that was right there and that, that was really great and the last backup service uh, I, I use is Evernote Evernote Evernote.com and Evernote is just where I back all my documents like when I get a document I scan it on my my scanner it uploads the Evernote and I have access to all my documents that way so so those three first those three services allow me to back up all my stuff that I use online that's important to me, that's mission critical. It allows me to, in case disaster hits, like not just the uh, services going down, I can recover, but in case, in case uh, the services ban me or, you know, for violations, you just never know. Like, uh, you know, if you ever read the terms of service of Facebook or the terms of service of some of these uh, YouTube or whatever, basically, if you actually read the mile long terms of service, you will find that pretty, they can pretty much nuke you for any reason. I mean, even if they just don't like you. Like in the case, like, uh, my, my internet marketing friend who got banned from Aweber, I mean, he, there was no recourse. I mean, it's, it's, in the terms, it's, in, it's in the terms of service. You have no recourse. If they nuke your account, your account is gone and you can't recover it. Right? So if you have your entire email list on them and you don't have a, you don't have a copy, you, you're nuked. <laughs> if they nuke your account, you are nuke unless you have a backup. All right. So that is the fifth foundation element to making money online. So you have the four, and then you have your backup plan. And unfortunately, uh, most internet marketer, most people do not think about their backup plan until it's too late. The time to think about a backup plan is when you start your internet marketing business. It should be part of your foundation tool. I apologize for not including it last time, but like. But like everyone else, I forgot about it until, but, but at least I remember this time, okay? <laughs> so I hope that helps you out. Uh, add that to your foundation tools, have a backup plan, and this way you have peace of mind and you're ready in case disaster struck, strikes. Hope it never happens, but just in case it does, you're ready for it. John Chow John Chow.com. Thank you very much for listening. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video and your first time uh, visitor. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. See you guys next time.